Hi, it's Martin from Marshville Times. I'm here with Luca Trelli. Uh, how are you doing today? Yeah, yeah, absolutely fine. I mean, it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> this is the typical answer, but it's not true at all because I, I got sick. Uh, we are all sick, uh, 90%. Uh, Luckily, still our singer is okay. That's the most important. But uh, really, you know, touring in January, February like yeah. this, and many people used to start one and then yeah. everybody's killed. So. <laughs> Well, that's a good place to share the <laughs> <laughs> So the truth, if you want to know the truth, this is that's it. <laughs> you're, you're part way through the European leg of your tour now. How's it been going so far? Yeah, we're very happy. We're very happy because this is a very long tour, no? Mm. Some tour are made, some dates of this tour are made really to, in our most important uh, markets, no? So we had sold out uh, yesterday in Paris. It was just amazing, no? Mm. And, um, but uh, also we want uh, through these dates to discover new countries. That's why we are here. For example, in Scotland, the first time we want really to see how it is. We want to go on insisting because uh, um, we would like really to, to, how you say, to showcase, you say, mm. our yeah. music all around Europe, no? So in those countries where maybe we are not so known uh, or we think to not be known, no? Because then you discover that you have funky apps here and there on the internet. But uh, uh, that's a great way to meet uh, yeah. as much, uh, uh, as um, many people as you can, uh, and uh, that's great, you know, because you know, for a composer, the great moment is when you compose in the studio for sure. But uh, no, in, in that moment, you channel the energy you transmit it through, through an album, but then when you meet the people, you transmit the energy in another way, you know, in a more immediate way, yeah. and you get it back, you know. So it's a magic, it's a second magic moment for a composer. So, and um, more people we can meet during this tour is better it is. Yeah, it's good. Uh, I've, I have never seen you live before. Uh, so you haven't been to Scotland before at all? Hey, no, 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 no. First time. Uh, uh, for people coming along tonight and other dates on the tour, what can we expect from the show? Well, uh, what, what we, we define as a cinematic show, of course, you know, depends on the stage. On the stage... Uh, <laughs> today, okay, we were a little bit surprised because it, it's a kind of a small stage, you know. Of course, for Epsody, the best uh, is uh, we are very dynamic on stage. We like to be very dynamic mm -hmm. because uh, when we hear our same music, this is exciting for us, no? Mm -hmm. uh, we have this energy. We would like to 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 be able to transmit to have the possibility to, to 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 do it in a great way. Of course, when you have a small stage, it's more difficult. You have to take care here and there, so it's not the same. But we will try to give our best. Of course, uh, um, what can I say? Uh, no, maybe an answer already. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what you, uh, what you were asking. Uh, just what can they expect from the show? I mean, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sort of anyway, despite, despite the size uh, yeah. of the stage, you can expect what we define as a cinematic show. Mm -hmm. Video projection, some guests on stage. This is some something typical that I, I, I always want for the, the new Rhapsody band. No? After the split, no? I started my Rhapsody band with this idea in mind to offer something cinematic. Mm -hmm. Not only the music, but also the under the... the yeah. A relation with the visual aspect. Uh, could you tell us a bit about the new album and what way you feel that differs from your previous albums? Uh, okay, if you take, if you consider the first ten albums yeah. of the saga with Rhapsody, Rhapsody of Fire, all that, uh, then of course everything was related musically and lyrically to a concept, to a story, mm -hmm. uh, heroic fantasy mm -hmm. uh, related, no? Even if uh, I included differ, a lot of deeper meanings inside it, no? Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, mean, I love metaphysics, I come from that field, no? Psychology, metaphysics, uh, science, uh, all that. So I always like to, to yeah. include a little bit uh, for the people who know about that, they always could find a, a second way of reading my lyrics, no? Uh, but now, after the end of the saga with the new albums, with the previous album Ascending to Infinity, now with Prometheus, Symphonia, Inis Divinus, I really now I'm free to speak uh, about different subjects in the same in, in different songs on the same album, no? And this gives you an incredible freedom that me as composer I, I'm I really need. Uh, for me, Rhapsody is all about this, no? Complete freedom. You can uh, really uh, write in the same album, use different colors, paint different landscapes, uh, um, and this is very important, no? To, because you have so much you would like to express that. Uh, if there is not a, a unique story to, to respect, then you can really have a wider, uh, you can transmit wider, uh, how to say, 
a wider perspective of uh, yeah. no of your feelings of your emotions um, and that's I think is amazing uh, you have some special guests on the album such as Ralph Shepard from Primal Fear Dan Lucas from Carol and uh, David Ridman from David Pink Ridman yes team. Uh, why did you choose these guys in particular to be on the album uh, because they have uh, some different colors vocally speaking no from uh, our singer Alessandro Conti mm -hmm. and uh, I really uh, when I uh, was composing the song King Salomon and the 72 names of God then I, I really imagine immediately a voice in the style of Russell Island of symphonics things like that no and we found that the pos we had the possibility to have David Reitman that is, is really in that style uh, uh, of voice and uh, so I thought that is uh, really perfect to, to to balance the more crystalline clean voice uh, of Alessandro no mm -hmm. uh, to give something special because uh, you know already a Rhapsody album 75 minutes long like it is uh, Prometheus mm -hmm. if it would use the same colors the same style the same sounds it would be boring also yeah. for me that yeah. I compose it I swear to you. So I need always to, to have something special here and there, no, especially when it's so long. Um, so I thought that in that case David Riemann could have added some a different flavor, very very uh, fitting, you know, with the, the the concept of the album, with the concept of, of that song in particular, very Arabic, uh, stylistically. And, uh, and then we have uh, uh, Primal Fear uh, singer uh, Ralph Shepherds in many choirs, in all these uh, so-called epic choirs, mm -hmm. and um, that are different from the opera choirs. Now we have different style of choirs in our episode album. We have the operatic uh, choirs, typical lyrical choirs and so mm -hmm. on, to have this uh, epic cinematic touch. And then we have these epic choirs, more typically four or five rock singers, that meet you know, to give more, uh, mm. to underline in a better way, yeah. in a more important way, a vocal line or a, ref a chorus, a refrain, I don't know how you say, refrain here, yeah. yeah, you say chorus, chorus, yeah, chorus, chorus yeah. Um, of a song. So he was there and then uh, there was this possibility also to have him singing this bonus track, uh, Thunder Still, that was a cover from the band uh, Riot. Mm. And uh, we had the possibility to have him performing also as, as lead vocalist in, du as in duet with our singer Alessandro Conti. Uh, we did it. We were very happy about that. Right? So, uh, I really liked the, al the artwork on the album. It was created ah. by artist Stephen Heilman. Stefan Heilman. Uh, who worked with bands such as Camelot, Epica, Leaves Eyes and others. Yeah. How did you come to work with him? Uh, this was thanks to the uh, record company Nuclear Blast. Uh, he worked already for, for their artist and now also Lindemann between the last uh, latest uh, releases and, um, and so it was natural, no? Uh, for me, what was very important, uh, I was, yes, happy about the covers, about some covers of the past, but uh, what I really missed, you know, because there is all this big concept about uh, the New Rhapsody, cinematic and all that, uh, very connected to the cinema, really the big passion is is the cinema after all, no? So you would like always a cover artwork being uh, photorealistic, really cinematic. Mm -hmm. And this time, finally, I had this possibility with this great uh, artist that he uses real models <coughs> for, uh, for creating his artworks, no? So um, uh, uh, now we have this Stefan Heilemann that is uh, really the perfect man for, for us, for Absody. That's why we, this is just the first uh, cover he realized for us. Now we are already planning other other works together did you have any input on that work or was it just something that he'd no 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 for me it's very important yes because in the moment that you write an album you know what the lyrics are about what the music are about of course in your mind there is already a, a basic idea of how a cover could look should look but then with stefan is great because uh, normally you know to some artists they are great designers but the ideas uh, they are not no, you know they don't maybe match with your uh, uh, intention like this so but with Stefan is is the visionary in the same way than me so it was very easy yeah. and that's why I like to collaborate with him more and more uh, your music is a very cinematic quality would you ever be interested in writing a soundtrack for a movie or are there any movies that you'd like to have written a soundtrack to but of course uh, uh, we go to, to to the cinema as soon as possible you know uh, to see all the, the the biggest Hollywood production I love special effects so 
imagine. I love all kind of movies, from the dramas mm. to, the, to, to the whatever science fiction movies, all that. And um, of course, uh, of course, it would be my dream to realize a soundtrack. Mm. But I had already two times the possibility already now. For example, in 2006, then uh, I don't know why, but it didn't go. Uh, now, for example, I have this company, Look at Really Music Production. Mm. I have a partner in Hollywood called Alan Morgan that is uh, well known because he worked already with Taylor Swift, U2, this kind of uh, pop uh, ex. <laughs> and, um, and we found an agent already. But uh, you know how it works in, in Hollywood. It's quite different uh, mm. from what you can think. No, maybe you know it. But uh, me, I didn't know it. And, uh, you know, it happens that the agent, they tell you, okay, yes, I like uh, your stuff, but now please, create four piece, 40 pieces of music and then uh, also 10 comedies, 10 for a possible comedy, 10 for a possible horror movies, 10 for a possible... Co so then, you know, it's for me that uh, based, everything is basing everything on heart and soul. It's something very mechanic, yeah. very, on you demand. know, on demand, yeah. bravo. And I'm really against the concept with all myself. I'm against the concept of self uh, self-service music you know it's not that uh, someone wants uh, some uh, you yeah. even even thinking to the fans no it's not that uh, you 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 should never think uh, oh, what the thing expect mm -hmm. what the fans expect no because then this is not heart and soul anymore no mm -hmm. so so that's why Rhapsody will be always the main priority mm -hmm. because Hollywood is Hollywood is great amazing if there is the possibility to have freedom in a certain way I would do something of course yeah. But in Rhapsody, we have complete freedom. Uh, Nuclear Blast is an amazing company. We just give our demos and uh, they like it and uh, we go for it. You know? So there is never, uh, there is never. Uh, so imagine, no? how can you renounce to something like this for something like that? So, yeah, bravissima, bravissima. You understood everything. So that's why Rhapsody will be always the priority. Total freedom, total heart, and total soul. Uh, Olivier here had a very important question. Olivier is French and uh, Lara is Italy, Italian, so we need to get <laughs> But he, he wants to know, because you're living in France now. Uh, no, no, I, in reality now I'm li living between Italy and France, I, so uh, me living mo mainly in, in, in Italy. He, he was My girlfriend is yeah. French, yes. Uh, he was wondering well, which is best, uh, French food and wine or Italian food and wine? Be, be honest. I know, <laughs> wine, wine I cannot <laughs> tell. <laughs> wine I cannot tell because I'm an alcoholic guy, <laughs> so I'm <laughs> sorry for that. <laughs> I know that in Scotland is a kind of blasphemy, I know. But uh, <laughs> my, my, it's, it's not my fault, it's my physical fault. It doesn't accept any alcohol or form of... Uh, so I'm sorry for that. But for the food, yes, of course, Italian wins always. <laughs> on France, on German, on, uh, there's no, no doubt about it. That's why also the, our German uh, band members, they love to... First thing, they see an Italian restaurant, let's go to it. Yeah, uh, gelatin... What do you call it, gelatin? Gelateria, ice cream. Uh, Zampol Zampoli. Zam no. Yes, I've to been to many times. Oh, Zampoli, <laughs> no. Nadia. Oh, I just mia. wondered if you missed that, if you were living in Trieste. No, Zampoli, Zampoli is one of the great, the great the so for me it's the greatest uh, in Europe, yes. In Europe. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Zampoli is really, wow. Uh, it's amazing. You know, me, I cannot eat too much ice cream because the milk, uh, I don't like too much, but when I need an ice cream, Zampoli, that's it. <laughs> so, so it's still the best gelateria in town. Yeah. Yes, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Because they, all the others, you know, they, they fill it with uh, water, yeah. a lot of water, but they have really the, 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 the solid stuff, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know very well, well eh? Back to the music. <laughs> uh, Zampoli, <laughs> she knows the gelateria when I go in Trieste uh, to eat ice cream. I brought him to Trieste. Ah, yes, yeah, 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 I've been a few times. Yeah. It's, it's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when you're on tour, I mean, do you write new material when you're on the bus, or do you wait? No, no, there is no way. There is no, no. way. I, every time I think uh, I will write a book on tour, I will write a new songs, mm -hmm. I will write this and that, I will create lessons for my guitar course. There is nothing to do. Mm -hmm. There is limited time. Uh, you are psychophysically wasted after a while because you try really to concentrate, to give the best in those two hours on stage, because our show is anyway two hours long. 
a lot of song, a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, really in the end the hours fly, yeah. and you are never able to do really something properly. If I can, I, I can I, I read some something from time to time, but uh, there is no really way to to really work on something else. So it's very difficult. Okay. You had, you had mentioned you had, had an online guitar course. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Locatrelli's Neoclassical Revolution. Can you tell us a wee bit about this? Uh, what would students signing up for this course learn? Uh, but this is a. Uh, I, I stayed two years to prepare this. Ah, it's two years I, I prepared the, this course, no? This is 100 lesson, and that I'm always modifying them from time to time like this. And is this is really what I would have liked to have when I started yeah. playing guitar in this neoclassical way. Because, of course, from the name of the course, you can understand that it's something related with classical music combined with uh, modern music. So Chopin, uh, imagine transcription of Chopin adapted to the electric guitar. Uh, Chopin is my favorite uh, composer. No? I love playing piano. Uh, you can hear it also in Rhapsody's music, uh, Rhapsody composition. But uh, generally Bach, Beethoven, all these amazing uh, composers. So I try really to, to make it easy. I stay two years to transcribe, to collect the transcription of the past, uh, to tap them for the guitar players of all levels. So I think this is a great resource for, uh, for many guitar players that are happy with this course. Uh, just final question. Um, uh, what would you have, what would you say to your fans out there? We're thinking about coming along to, um, to see you on the tour. Especially in Scotland, yeah, or well, in general. Well, anywhere on the tour, yeah. yeah. Well, uh, no, I, I, for me, what is important is that I understand really this concept of Rhapsody, related with Rhapsody music, you know. This is a really uh, pure energy derivated uh, coming from heart and soul, you know. Mm -hmm. And I think when they come to us assist at the, our show, and we have the proof from this tour, for example, you know, that doesn't matter if you have a lot of people sold out or you have in some shows uh, less people like that, but the energy that we receive from them make us made us understand that they really get what uh, Rhapsody is about, no? This message uh, based on love, respect, uh, something very, you know, uh, maybe out of fashion for someone, but for for us very important, no? So when we hug and we embrace the people at every show, we feel this, we feel this energy, and then when the people tell to you the thanks to your music, the, their life improved, they were able to go over a problem related with drugs, uh, with the family, things like that, this is the moment when you feel like uh, your mission on planet Earth was fulfilled. Yeah, 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 absolutely, yeah. that's the most important thing, more than the money, more than fame, more than ego-related things, you know, so that's the basic thing. Okay. Well, thanks very much for your time. I really okay. appreciate it, and I'm looking forward to the show tonight. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs>